Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Cardano price and the Bitcoin price. Cardano losing around 10% in the last um, yeah, 24 hours and Bitcoin as well is going down further. So we're going to take a look at the key resistance and um, support levels for both Bitcoin and Cardano. So let's start with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is currently finding support here at 58.5k. Now that is exactly where we had the previous high here of that inverse head and shoulders that we had talked about. There was that previous high here at 58.5k. Now that is exactly where Bitcoin is currently coiling up and potentially moving down from here. Now, again, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know exactly, but as I said in the video yesterday, I do anticipate further price moves into that region between 54 and 57k. What supports me with that is the fact that we are now below the 20 day moving average here. And also we've dropped back into the channel. What channel am I talking about? If I go to the eight hour chart, I zoom out, then you can see that we have been trading within this channel um, for a while now, actually since June. And we could lately identify it after we had more touch points and we have broken back into that um, channel now. So that is not very positive, not for the price at least. So we've dropped below the 20 day moving average. We're currently finding support, but I think what we're doing here is something like a bear flag, probably after a strong downtrend, purely a consolidation. It's actually something like a rectangle pattern here. So just a consolidation when you have a breakout, that is, you know, when the price really moves. So you need to watch out for a breakout here. Um, but as I said, my anticipation also based on Elliott waves would be that we continue to move down once more. Now, what always could be that we have a bit of a recovery before we then continue to move down. Um, but there you go. You can see that it's sort of a flag or a rectangle pattern. And if we break any of these levels, then you could assume um, that we're going down further. Now, the thing is, you could also use just the bodies here. Let's see what we get because you've got the wigs or the bodies, but yes, yeah, it's, it's looking it's looking just like a channel here. And the lower support level here would be 58.3. 58 58 and the resistance is pretty much here, 59 point, well, yeah, 59.1K. Um, yeah, we can't really use the wigs. I think if we use the wigs, it will just get messy the price is just a bit too dynamic let's just try it get more touch points i don't think that would be a very valid one here yeah not not really it doesn't really make a difference um looks like a channel that we're just like a, a consolidation in a short-term downtrend at the moment so yeah i would expect um a further move here to the downside maybe, maybe not immediately you know maybe we could even try again to to get back above that um range here above 60k but um, I did show you the target levels for Bitcoin yesterday before before we go to the uh, new all-time high, in my personal opinion. Again, no crystal ball, but so far it's worked out pretty well. Um, that is Cardano. Cardano currently at 193. I did say yesterday I anticipate further price drops. Now, since then, Cardano dropped further together with Bitcoin. But I still think if Bitcoin drops back into that region, 54 to 57K before it goes up, that Cardano will fall once more as well and possibly below that 181 level that we already reached yesterday um, and between the 145 and one basically 180 and 145 um, that would be my next target level for Cardano before we then again move to new all-time highs maybe 450 450 is the minimum for me yeah um, what else Looking at the four hour chart here, we can see we are now in oversold territory, but um, I mean, that is normally a sign that we are very, very short or briefly before a turnaround. You know, whenever we were at that level, we were here back in, um, when was that? That is the four hour chart, by the way. We were here back in September, beginning of September, and also towards the end of September, we were in the oversold range found really good support there as you can see also that long wick there to the downside yesterday was all bought up quickly but what you can currently see i think that we are coiling up here for a for a move to the downside and we can see that maybe even clearer on the one hour chart i mean it is in my view here 
a, um, a descending triangle, which would confirm that we might be coiling really here for a move to the downside because the bias now can't push the price to the upside anymore. We're getting into the apex, so a breakout is really imminent. Now, what I could ex potentially expect if Bitcoin really drops once more, maybe we also find support here at the 200 day moving average and won't drop below that. That is currently sitting at 179 and the really important support level. Now, should we really go up from here, which because, you know, again, nobody has a crystal ball, I think we could get, first of all, to the $2 line. That is certainly that high here. I've got $2.03 here. To be honest, it's probably a range between $2 and $2.03 before we then could address the $2.10 level again. Um, but yeah, I think, as I said, probably a little bit more of a drop before we then continue our way to the upside. Now, there isn't much more I can show you here. Um, we could have another look on the daily on the indicators before. I just want to remind you of what is coming later today with Cardano. And again, here, sell signals on every indicator. The MACD on the daily has just broken a, um, has just broken, you know, into the red. And that is normally a signal, you know, that we can expect a little bit of a further price decrease. Now, it could always be, that is the daily. So what could happen that on the on the hourly or on the four hour, you see that fluctuation going on, that up and down. But if the daily gives us this direction, this would currently be what I'm looking for. And also we have a sell signal on the ADX. And also on the RSI here, we really had a breakout, um, a breakout to the downside. And I show you that as well. We are, we're getting close here into the oversold range, not quite there yet, but also here, we, um, yeah, we, we really broke to the downside yesterday. You can see that we had support here for since the 1st of October, but then we broke to the downside, reached a new low on the RSI, also indicating, you know, we're in the bearish range, haven't got into the oversold level on the AD, uh, on the RSI yet, which means we have more, a little bit more scope to the downside, which would potentially support um yeah the the assumption that we could drop once more the thing is you know last time we we had that strong drop and that was that flash crash here you you always had you know these strong green candles i don't see them at the moment um i'm sure they will come as soon as we really hit the target level or as soon as bitcoin is recovering at the moment i can't see that yet we're dropping actually a little bit further as we speak and just to remind you of that october edition today of the Cardano 360. I can't wait for it. Um, I will watch it later and then keep you updated about any changes, improvements, or important updates. So hopefully you liked that update. If you did, please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this crypto journey, then please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.